Hi and welcome back to our channel. In this video, we would like to show you what surprising German products we have found in Northern Eastern Germany. So first of all, fish, fish, fish. In all possible ways that you can imagine. Like for example, Polak salad with dill. Rollmops, which is a pickled herring that is filled with some vegetables. But also standard pickled herring. Pickled herring salad with a dill and cream, herring in oil with herbs, rolled herring in oil with herbs, herring in oil with no idea what, what were those red berries, and the most surprising, herring in a speak that was made with pork. I have never seen fish in a speak before. Different kind of pickled vegetables like cucumbers, cabbages, carrots, and green beans. And also some seafood like surimi, shrimps in different sauces like dill, garlic, cocktail, and even brown shrimp salad created by Gosch, which is a restaurant chain in Germany. Other than this, plenty of cured herrings, as well as trout roe, or so-called caviar and vegetarian caviar made from algae, smoked prawns, and smoked sprouts. And also in the meat section, I have found very interesting products, which is in this case a kasla, marinated in water, onions, sugar, salt, vinegar, oil, and pepper, served in aspic. Sauerfleisch in aspic, which is the speciality from Schleswig-Holstein. And also sauerfleisch from Turkey. I have also spotted a grünkohl, kale that is served with potatoes and medwurst. Medwurst is pretty strongly flavored German sausage that is made from raw pork and it's cured and cooked in this example. Also in the can they had plenty of different stews. This is Pilchensteiner Eintopf with cabbage that I have mentioned already in my stews video from the previous year. Chicken stew with pasta, green pea stew with some sausages, Stew made with Savoy cabbage and smoked meat. I didn't know that one. As well as white asparagus soup for those of you who miss white asparagus. Sonnenwasserman is a company that comes from East Germany. And products from this company are not available in Frankfurt. But we do have products from Erasco. In the glass I found spinach and Brussels sprouts. As well as kale. Of course, what would be Northern Germany without the kale? And lecho, which is an East German product that is used as a base to a very famous soup, which is called Sorianka. I showed you this one in our GDR video. In Northern Germany, you can also find a plenty of products from Spreewalder Hof that offer so many different pickled cucumbers. Incredible! They also had plenty of soups in vacuum. I have spotted such a classics like cheese leek soup, sausage stew, carrot stew, tomato soup or goulash soup. And what also surprised me a lot that I have found the Böhmische Knödel and those were those Czech dumplings that we have eaten in Prague as well as some yeast dumplings. Both of them were produced in Saxony Anhalt. I also found there many sausages in a glass. Don't get me wrong, we also do have a lot of sausages in a glass, but not as many. They also had many products from the company that produces mustard from Bauten. Not only the mustards, but also a mustard sauce, as you can see on the screen. I have also found cabbage rolls in a jar, beef goulash in a jar, and wait for it, beef rolls in a jar. Shame we didn't buy them. I would love to know how they taste. I also found a soup from Eastern Germany, which is called Soyanga and Ragufa, the dish that I have showed you in our GDR video. And from the more creative products, I have found sea salt with cornflower blossom. Surprisingly, they didn't have as much dumplings as we do have in Southern Germany. I hope that you remember those Bavarian soup dumplings that I have showed you in the previous supermarket video. I have found another speciality from Schleswig Holstein, which is the Kartenschenken. And this is cured and smoked raw ham, as well as cheese from the same region. 
And if you're a fan of the East Frisian speciality, Friesen Torte, there is a Friesen Boden that you can buy to create this wonderful cake with plum sauce. I have also found incredible Rumkugeln. Those are rum balls and in Northern Germany they taste just the best. Also this hedgehog slice that is traditional from Eastern Germany. This is a bar that is made of chocolate, fat and biscuits. Meringue from Dresden and very tasty Knusperflocken from Zeti, which is an East German company. And those are made of crisp bread and milk chocolate. And the sweet version of popped rice, which is another East German classic. And also savory snacks like waffles that were filled with cheese and onion cream. Those were from the company from Northern Saxony. And extremely typical for Eastern Germany, Brause Pulver, which is a sweet powder. And when you dilute it in water, it makes a fizzy sweet drink. And of course, the one and only the best ice cream in whole Germany from Berlin, Florida Ice. There are different flavors, but I went for my favorite one. So vanilla strawberry. In wine section, I have actually found products that I expected. All the wines were from the wine regions in central and southern Germany. But the beer section was very interesting, especially the plenty of beers from Stöterbecker. Lübze, which is a brewery from mecklenburg vorpommern Also beers from the Insel Brauerei in Rügen that had uh, the most interesting packaging, I would say. The beers were wrapped up in paper. Although drinking in Germany in public places is actually allowed. And if you would like to go for milk products instead of beer, I would recommend this milk coffee from the company Tuam from Northern Germany. If you don't like coffee, they also had strawberry flavor. One of the most interesting sections was the spirit section. This one, for example, was a spirit made with star anise and there were more of them. And another Northern German speciality, which is a spirit that is made from fermenting grain with caraway seeds, anise and other spices. I really wonder how this tastes. And another, more popular grain brandy made from cereal grain called corn or doppelkorn. They also had plenty of Advocat, which is a traditional Dutch alcoholic beverage that is made from egg sugar and brandy. Plenty of different herbal liquors with very funny labels. I didn't know that Jägermeister has such a competition in Northern Germany. And plenty of these specialities were available in the smaller bottles. So if you would like to try some of those, you can just get a small bottle. I really love those small bottles. And I also have found plenty of seabuck thorn specialities like seabag thorn wine, sparkling wine, and liquor. Different kind of gems also mix with different things, like ginger, rosemary, mango, strawberry, as well as honey, seabag thorn nectar, seabag thorn fruit gum, rapeseed oil from Rügen, and a lot of products from Northern Europe, like cheese from Denmark, some sweets from Sweden, as well as Swedish cider mixed with mangoes, strawberries and also other cider variations, but this time from Denmark. Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you did enjoy it. From the culinary perspective, Northern Germany was extremely interesting for us. And I am glad to see that even the German supermarkets there work with smaller companies because that makes uh, their products accessible for us to try. If you are interested, uh, what German products you can find in Southern Germany, I also prepared a video for you about the German supermarkets in Frankfurt and Southern Germany. So you can watch this video next. Next week I will be taking you on another tour, so please stay tuned for that. I wish you a lovely week and I see you on my next one. <laughs> Bye!